Okay, so my name be Andy Sandham. I am going to quickly show you some very basic playmaker play, play meter? Play maker techniques. Uh, so what we'll do is uh, we will set up a floor. So let me just scale the floor like so. <clears throat> Uh, put in a cube, so let's put in a little cube. I don't want to scale it, I just want to move it, thanks. Okay, so um, we want to change the colour of this cube as per the demo I think I've probably shown you in class. But what I will do is I will give this a material, so I will go to my little folder. I chose to miss out the letter E from the word red for just because I like to be quirky. Uh, so we need to trigger this. So basically I can change the, we've got a collider on this box and so with regards to triggers, I can make that a trigger. Um, and it will, uh, that means play, Playmaker will recognize this as a trigger. So uh, that's fine, but the point is that we can then walk through the box. So we don't really want to do that. So if I call this red cube, <coughs> And then if I duplicate that and call it red cube trigger, so uh, what I'll do is I'll just scale that up, and if I turn off the mesh renderer, so that will become our trigger box. Okay, so we can step into this and it will trigger something. So with regards to stepping into things, we're going to need to. I've downloaded. Uh, you'll, I'll give you this package, but I've downloaded the standard Unity Assets third-person character, although I'm confusing myself with the amount of things I've got open. So let's just have a look at standard assets, characters, third-person character, prefabs, uh, and third-person controller. Um, okay, so just drag that in the scene. <clears throat> So this Ethan dude is going to basically trigger the uh, the colour change. So now we need to move into the exciting world of Playmaker. So again, I'm not sure that this will actually uh, that you're going to get the windows will default to these settings when you get the uh, the project file I'll give you. But you really want to be docking your Playmaker win editor window down here. So. If, if this isn't docked down here, you can go to Playmaker Editor, click on that, it'll appear on your screen, just drag it down as per usual. Um, and you're also going to want events and actions, it's quite handy to have these docked up here. Um, I've been messing about with navigation, so that's also docked up there. So, let's just go back to Inspector. So, we don't want to trigger, we don't, actually I should point out, that if we look at the red cube trigger we want to make sure we have clicked on is trigger okay so that's important so this will now uh, the collider will now act as a trigger so you you'll be able to walk through it basically so we want to add an fsm a functioning state machine uh, to the functioning state machine is that correct it's something state machine so add a, 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 a fsm so uh, i'm just moving it with alt and middle mouse so what we want to do is we want to actually I'm just going to turn on the key notification so you can actually see what I'm doing a little bit more clearly how okay so with the trigger you want basically to be able to walk into it to trigger something or you know if it's a spaceship you want to fly into it and trigger something so uh, what we're going to do here is I'm just going to rename this waiting because uh, or maybe not if I select the correct field. So if I call it waiting, because that's basically what triggers do, they'll sit and wait for something to enter them and then to activate. So uh, it's using the owner, which is obviously the trigger box. Um, on trigger enter, yes. So send event. So we want to put in, we want to add an event here. So I'm going to make a new event called on trigger enter. So you'll see what I'm talking about. So we want to make a transition. And I've just made a new transition called on trigger enter. So this means that when the character enters the trigger, it will fire off my event, which I've just made called on trigger enter. This will make a bit more sense in a minute. So once you've entered it, um, you want to something to happen. So in this case, 
let's add a new state uh, and in this case we want to change the color okay so let's have a look in the action browser let's put in color it's got the stupid American spelling so let's go for that one uh, so now it gives you these options so use owner well we don't want to change the color of the trigger box so in this case we don't want to use the owner we want to specify a game object gives you an option to drop your game object in here so let's drop in the game red cube uh, material we can ignore this we just want to change the color okay so let's make it a lovely green color uh, we don't want every frame we just want it to happen once so what will happen here is once you enter the trigger it's going I can drag and it'll go to state one so let's call state one let's call that change color but of course we also want to uh, when you exit the trigger we want it to uh, well we don't particularly want it to do anything but in this case what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it turn back to the red color again so uh, we need an, in this state here we need another event which will be another trigger event so let's add a back to the action browser uh, and I've just typed in trigger here so up comes trigger event so we will uh, we want to use the owner yes because that is the trigger box uh, on the trigger exit okay uh, send event which would be if you look in system events you will have one called finished somewhere it doesn't appear to be there okay so let's add a transition so finished uh, is usually available which once that state once it's set the material color it's basically just finished its job and then what will happen is it'll return back here okay so send event once the player exits the trigger you want to send the event finished okay so in this box here it's telling us as soon as he's left that trigger box finished back to the start okay and just to make it so that you know that you've exited the trigger we probably want to let me just see if I can copy this copy selected actions I'll show you so because this is the initial state we want to make sure this is always red okay again this is not something that we need to do but I'm just doing it so that we can recognize when we're in and out of the trigger so um, we don't want it to be green this time we want it to be the red cube and in this case we want it to be red so I'm just using the color picker there to make sure we've got the same color uh, so this should be a loop so enter and exit change color let's have a go see if it works okay so it doesn't okay excellent so it's not going to my state so let's have a look set trigger event game object use owner on trigger enter cloud tag send event so we haven't put send event okay so we need to put on trigger enter as our send event okay so once the player has entered it will send on trigger enter over to change color let's try it again Okay, so now it changes green and then if I plumbed it incorrectly it should if I can yeah it turns back to red again okay so you can see it all happening down here in real time so that's a good way of debugging and working out if you have any issues but that's the basics of triggering happy days